All right, folks, Chef Jason here again, of course. Boss up shot is on the agenda. Top notch boss up shot from my good boys, Chef Shasim and Shazan. So, we had an event, big tower out, flour was kneading, baking powder, salt, all the accoutrements in making good boss up shots. As you can see, Chef Shasim is a boss in making boss up shot roti. He's got a feel for it when it comes to this dough. That is years and years of experience. This is the top-notch roti maker in Trinidad and Tobago. This is the man that they bring out at the events when you want to impress people with roti. So after kneading up the roti, oil is then added. He makes his loy, sets it apart, kneads it together, brings it in together to allow it to sit for a little while. Look how beautiful those uh, dough balls look. Smooth, They're almost from the heavens, right? This is why he is the best. So after a while, he lets that sit, he creates his mixture of margarine there as you can see it's nice and tempered soft and this is going to go inside of the dough so he's going to start to increase the area of this look at that look how he opens it up with his hands almost like an italian chef making pizza that is pure skill he then adds that uh, margarine inside there butter is sometimes used ghee is also a favorite also but here in transbago we do love that uh, margarine flavor inside of our bus up shot also known as paratha Look at that line split straight down the center and then the cone shaped is then made up. This is always the greatest marvel to me. This is how we create the layers, those flaky ethereal layers that we love in reality. That crispness, that silkiness. Look at that cone. Look how he pushes in the top to fold it in to make it into one. That is beautiful. He sets that aside and covers it down and he allows it to soak for a period of time. Maybe about half an hour to allow the roti to come to that desired point after that he rolls it out nicely with his rolling pin i think this was a three foot tower he was working with and just look how he picks it up he stretches it on his arms brings it down into the tower elegantly 100 percent that is perfect a puchawa is used to then add oil on top of it to get that nice crispness and brown those two dabblers are then used to transport it and manipulate moving it inside out and obviously beating it look at that the flakiness is there and obviously you gotta beat that hence the reason why they call it bus up shot it's almost like a bus up shoot beating it with those two dabblers to get those nice flaky ethereal layers going on i mean oh my god these guys are the professionals in the game look how great that looks the smell of that fat oh yes number one routine chance baby obviously bus up shot listen you guys gotta check out chef shasim and his brother they are top notch the best in the game 100 percent look at those layers guys Oh, what are you guys thinking? Curry goat, curry beef, curry chicken. Oh, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Look at that. This goes straight into the cooler right now. Look how it is folded elegantly. Placed inside it to keep warm and nice. This will feed 8 to 10 people. And of course, I have to feed myself first and foremost. Have fun, guys.